So because recently asking if we ever bring him in the house. So I realized it has been a while. The focus has kind of been Morgan. So it would be cool to share him and what he's like. He is um, a Toco Toucan, which is the largest of the Toucans. He looks like he is gonna go somewhere right now. <laughs> he rock star. And um, he's seven years old. He's a male. His name is Rocco. <laughs> rock star, what are you doing? Might be able to give him some fruit, see if he wants to hang out, but he looks like he's looking for a place to go. You looking for a place to go? And hello, new subscriber. I'm so happy to have you. Come here, Rockstar. All right. So you can see he gets around by hopping. Much different than my parrots. <laughs> and hard to video because of that big beak. Hey, cutie can. So what do toucans eat? <clears throat> toucans eat much differently than parrots. For our parrots, we don't really give them fruit. Fruit is a treat for our parrots. He has a 70% fruit diet that's non-citrus. So he loves papaya. He looks like he's gonna go fly on top of the fridge. Um, he loves papaya, he can eat pears. Raspberries are kind of like a in moderation pomegranate, anything non-citrus fruit-wise. He can even have some vegetables like sweet potato and, um, man, I've heard mixed things on corn, but he can have squash, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> um, but he's picky. Like the other day he loved pears and then today he's like, nope, not happening. So he changes his mind. But as far as um, his daily diet, he gets two to four bowls of fruit per day. Plus he always has a low iron pellet, which is from Missouri. Um, he always has access to pellets because toucans have incredibly fast metabolisms. So I never want him to feel hungry. So yeah. And as far as where they're native to, I've seen them in the wild in Costa Rica, but I know that they're from Nicaragua as well. Um, and he, so yeah, I'm sure there's other places as well, Brazil, but I haven't actually seen them in the wild anywhere else, but I haven't always been to those places either. Don't worry, nothing's on, but I'm gonna grab a tissue for that. Um, as far as toucans being trained to like parrots, kind of. We're, I'm all about, um, you know, training what comes naturally to the birds. So hopping is very natural for them. So we used to do a, a bird show at a theme park and Rocco had his own routine and he had a bunch of perches, like a bunch of tea stands all in a row. And we showed him hopping and flying and, and he's really great at vertical flights, which parrots struggle with. So that thing, that's pretty cool. Toucans are really, really great at vertical flights. So if he was on the ground, he can fly straight up. Whereas most parrots need to kind of make a little bit more of a loop. Sorry, I'm totally distracted watching him, just making sure he's not getting in trouble. <laughs> so, toucans are incredibly curious, and luckily, unlike parrots, they can't really damage things as much, so he can kind of beak things and touch it, and it doesn't ruin it, whereas a parrot would obviously be able to break through stuff and destroy it. <laughs> and sorry the quality sucks, guys. <coughs> And sorry, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm just getting over being sick, actually. But yeah, I don't post as many videos of Rocco because he absolutely hates my camera. So if it's on selfie mode, he's just, ugh, he goes from super nice to just wicked off and annoyed. Oh, do you want to take a bath? <laughs> you want some water? Whoa, what's that? No, you're gonna fly to me. <laughs> you can come if you want. Come on, cool boy, rock star. <laughs> oh, see, he found the camera. <laughs> found the camera. Oh, yeah, what's up? It's upside down. Aww. Doesn't that look funny? Yeah. So sorry if I'm not catching all of your questions. I'm watching my daughter, Tukian. But I am trying to look at all your stuff that you guys are posting. 
Can you come over here? Okay, let me try to get him some uh, some fruit, see if he wants to eat for you guys. You wanna eat some fruit? Oh. You wanna come over? <clears throat> Blueberry, of course. He goes for the blueberry. <laughs> so how did we come up with the, the name Rocco? My husband actually did. Oh, and he's coming home, so this might scare Rocco a little bit. Daddy, <laughs> So it didn't scare him, but definitely distracted him. But yeah, so I have some papaya, some pears, and blueberries here for him if he wants some. But obviously, he wants to see Dave. Um, and I think Dave came up with his name from Rocco's Modern Life, to be honest. He used to watch that show when he was a kid. And so he just liked that name, and we give him so many nicknames. We call him Rockstar, Rocket Star, Crazy Can. Um, he does free fly. We've taken him, I think two or three times to free fly and then the last few times we took him he broke his tail so when he breaks his tail he he is a horrible flyer he's just completely off balance so with that beak and then imagine no tail um he he just like cannot fly well at all so the last couple times he broke his tail on the trip down there he doesn't do well in a travel cage for an extended amount of time and it takes us about 18 hours to drive there to where we free fly. So he didn't make it up. Um, he didn't make it out the last couple times, but he does free fly in Idaho sometimes. So we kind of stopped taking him on trips because he would ruin his, his tail. So <laughs> we didn't want that because it takes a long time to get the new feathers in. Oh, it's a juicy poop. That's a toucan poop for you. <laughs> They're totally different. Will you grab a paper towel for me? Yeah, for me. <laughs> um, I have not ever seen Rocco regurgitate. No. Um, Fiji used. Did Fiji? Fiji did. They're asking if they, if they do like, um, <laughs> like owls. No, not like an owl. But owls kind of regurgit. Well. Yeah, I don't think it's like the birds of prey. Will we catch? So, a lot of people don't know that two cans can catch. It's not really paying attention, so we may not, but. <laughs> Ready? Ah. Good catch. It's even hard to see. <laughs> you can definitely teach a two can to play catch because they just do it naturally. <laughs> What did Dave get? All sorts of stuff. <laughs> so interested. So this is my first uh, YouTube live. Oh. Yeah. They said the quality's crap, so I'll have to work on that. But. <laughs> Not on YouTube. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I got pickles, bread, and milk. Saltines. I think it's salt. Yeah, they're right there. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. I thought I did. Rocco, what's in the bag? <laughs> He's a busy little can, as you can see. <laughs> we, <laughs> we do need more blueberries because Capri ate the rest. Where's your blue marble? Um, so yeah, Rocco's, or Rocco's. <laughs> Toucans, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, toucans are totally different from other birds. So one is their poops, like Dave was saying, because their diet is 70% fresh fruit, um, their poops are very watery. It's paint-like texture, it's really gross, and it stains. So if he eats blueberries, it's gonna be blue splattery poop. Um, so whatever they eat, that's pretty much how it comes out. It's, it's bad, I know, he's happy. Um, 
The cool thing is that he doesn't destroy stuff like parrots. So a parrot can get a hold of like a cable and just bite right through it. He can't do that. So that part is really, really nice. And like parrots, they'll destroy, you know, wood and they could just start peeling this up. He can't do that with his beak. So that part is great. Um, toucans in general are a lot more skittish though. And so when they do get scared and they poop all over, it's, it's a really big mess. Um, so I would say that's one downside. Yeah, he's been flying. I know. <laughs> yeah, I did. And yes, I will make more videos of him where it's better quality. It's not a live video. So you guys can see more of his personality and what he does. His hopping is my favorite. And the beak rubbing is very toucan-esque. Um, Do we have any little <laughs> Um, Capri might. Hey, Capri, do you have any balls that um, Rocco could play with? Not too small of one, but one that he could just play catch with. Not the huge one. No, that's too big. What about some of those squishy ones that are different colors that are part of your kitchen set? Um, so Rocco is seven years old and we actually, the story of how we got him is just crazy. We were on tour for two years. We actually had a Swainson toucan who died on tour because, um, when all the, usually like the animals got to the buildings first and we got to go in first and they had basically a gas leak in the building. And so we were lucky we only lost the one bird, but our toucan was the most fragile as far as respiratory systems. And so she died on that tour and we were just devastated. And our fans got together and bought us Rocco um, months later. It was really amazing. So yeah, um, Rocco cannot talk. It's because of his tongue and how it's made. Um, his tongue looks kind of like a really thin feather, so he just can't articulate words with it or do mimicking that parrots can do. Just doesn't work the same, so no talking. Nothing? No. You want to videotape Rocco and I'll go look? I have some <clears throat> Easter that got put in here. Oh, lovely. What? So Dave really wants to show you how he can play catch. So I'm going to go try to find a ball that he can play with, I think. Here you go. And look, they got a question. Who does he prefer, you or Dave? <laughs> he prefers Jamie. Yeah, he's kind of interesting. He's really aggressive, but he's definitely, um, they're, they're totally different than parrots. <laughs> um, how's Capri doing with all the parrots? I'm allergic to birds. I'm allergic to some birds, ironically. Um, okay, so Capri does really well with the bird. She is able to handle him. He's wiping his beak on that chair, huh? She's able to handle him quite a bit. Um, do we usually do our live videos here on YouTube? We don't. Jamie was saying I came in uh, back from the grocery store and realized that she was doing a live video on YouTube, but it's our first time. You want to play? You want to play? <laughs> oh, he loves the texture. <laughs> So bird family, they're in the Ramphastos family, I believe. You like it? Uh, no, he never gets in the same aviary as the parrots. Why is he looking at us? He loves it. He loves it. I guess he could keep it. He can keep it? Does Rocco enjoy belly rubs? <laughs> I don't pet there. You guys know that. <laughs> Anything that would sexually stimulate a bird, I don't go there. So, I enjoy yeah, belly rubs. He probably would enjoy belly rubs. <laughs> we don't rub or stroke, though. Um, I mainly pet Rocco around his head, and then I'll give him a few pats. <laughs> Pedro's asking, do you include Kanye recipes in the natural feeding book? Yeah, actually. Um, those recipes are for all types of parrot species, so from budgies all the way to macaw. Oh, you almost dropped it, I saw. Here's another one for you. How long is a piece of string? <laughs> Not sure what you're asking about there. As long as a rope? Good answer. <laughs> <clears throat> he really likes this fluffy ball. 
Hulk. Here's a good one. Do you guys have a dream bird that you have never owned? Mom, hand it to me. No, I don't want any more birds. <laughs> They're all my dream birds. Mommy, I'm going to give it to them. him. Huh? I'm going to give it to him. Okay. <laughs> can you throw it to him? Okay. Oh, ah! he wasn't ready. I didn't think he'd see it. You want to come over here and do it this way? You got to show it to him. You got to be like, and then you toss it up. <laughs> I think he wants some fruit maybe instead. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, I got behind on the questions. <coughs> she has a blueberry. Oh, okay, now try. <laughs> if a toucan was a train leaving Los Angeles at 3 p.m. and he flew to New York <laughs> like a train, how long would it take? <laughs> He's not a very fast flyer. Has Rocco... Has Rocco ever bit you? Yes? Yeah. Toucans have an interesting way of biting. They, it's kind of like a jab, jab, jab. And it goes from like the first jab might be, oh, what's this? The second one might be, get away from me. And the third one will be, I'll kill you. Um, and that happens all in the span of about one second. So you have to really read them a little bit differently than you would a parrot. Can you say why you don't want to get them hormonal? <laughs> why I don't want to get them hormonal? Um, because basically doing that is telling, communicating to them, like, I want to be your mate, so hate everybody else in the household. And um, Also, it's not nice because you can't finish the deed. Yeah, you're basically sexually frustrating the bird because <laughs> I never know how to talk about hormones properly. But basically, I don't want to teach my birds to masturbate on me. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> uh, as far as the definition of the video, guys, yeah, I, th I hear that it's not that great. So I'm not sure how we can improve on that on our end. But it's probably our Idaho Wi-Fi. Yeah, thank you, Frontier. Just for just for poops and giggles, go check out Better Business Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> you can go look up Frontier Internet on the Better Business Bureau, and it's if you realize how long it takes to leave a complaint and how many they have. They have like seven positive and like 3,000 negatives. They, they literally are like an F minus on the Better Business Bureau rating. So that's the internet we're on. That's the internet we have, the only option we have. What would be a good first bird? Yeah, we should probably end this because he's been around for a while and I have a video upload going, which is probably last All right. Going I'll let you pick up from there then. All right. But what would be a good cool. first bird was the last question. Um, a good first bird. A Man. chicken! <laughs> I never really like recommending birds as pets, to be honest. They're super difficult. I mean, I think it's all in saying, like, I make my living off of helping people fix their birds' problems. So um, I just think that they're not always meant for everyone. So honestly, I prefer to direct people to go to a sanctuary or a rescue, donate your time, go see what they're truly like, and usually a bird will pick you, to be honest. Um, if you're not willing to put in the time to a small bird like a budgie then I don't feel like you should upgrade I don't even want to like use that term but like get a larger bird because the smaller ones are just as capable as the medium to large so if you're just getting a bird to talk or stuff like that to kind of like entertain you they're just not the right pet um, or to cuddle and be snuggly that's also not <laughs> not the right reason but thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm happy to have done my first youtube live even if the quality was crappy i apologize for that but yeah i have a new morgan video that will go up soon i'm really excited for you guys to see it because she finally finally hung out really content and i actually got it on video so it'll be really cool for you guys to see that next morgan series video um anyways i gotta go thank you guys for tuning in See ya.